Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be going over Episode 4, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so last night's episode was on. It was amazing. I really, really liked this episode. You know, I think I just really enjoyed it. I loved how focused it was on everyone sort of breaking down to do with Barry's reveal last episode because you don't really get too much of that last episode apart from Killer Frost. You know, she was sort of thinking about herself more so than Barry. But this episode, we had Cisco, Ralph, and also Joe breaking down, and we had some amazing scenes that we need to talk about. But overall, this was crisis heavy towards the end, and man, that ending. We gotta talk about that ending when we get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead. So we're not necessarily gonna be going through this chronologically, but, you know, we'll try and get through everything. So we have this new Harrison Wells. He was introduced a few episodes ago, and he's back. He climbs up Star Labs to their balcony or somewhere, and he comes in and he meets Barry, he knows Barry is the Flash, he's bugged Cisco. great moment, loved that, Cisco's like touching himself like where the hell am I bugged? great stuff, loved that, and we obviously know he's a multiversal sort of explorer, I don't know if that's a real word, but he needs their help essentially and they need his help to get into this place. And so they go on a mission and it's to save Ramsey actually, that is you know, Barry's whole idea to go with Cisco, to sort of train Cisco, so that they can save someone together to try and convince him that, yeah, Barry has sort of decided he's going to die and he's not going to try and save himself, but they can try and save some other people in the meantime. And so we also have this Iris and Ralph stuff in this episode. That was kind of a bit strange. There was one good moment where they were talking and Ralph sort of opens up about Barry like, I really liked that moment, but apart from that, nothing too much with them. But I really liked when he's sort of coming to grips with Barry's potential death and how, you know, he's going to miss him. So I thought that was kind of sweet and kind of sad at the same time. And so, talking about the Wells stuff, we go to this place and Wells actually reveals that this device that they need, this cure to help Ramsey, is actually from Swan Moon, the Dominator planet. You know, from the invasion crossover, the first big four-way crossover that we had and this may be the thing that can stop HLH as they keep on saying you know like a form of cancer in the blood and yeah so I really like that reference to the Dominators because you know that was the first crossover and it was a really great crossover so yeah let's move on so Harrison Wells does this heliportation thing he doesn't explain it but that sort of links into my theory that we'll get into right now we're gonna skip right to the ending so Harrison Wells is given this new device by Cisco and the ending of the episode was him he's in this sort of underground place uh, kind of like a sewer or something he uses this device and he's able to see a hologram and who is that hologram of the monitor and how can he teleport them by using a smoke device because he's pariah I think everything points to that. You know, he's investigating the monitor, he has tracked him down, he is obviously an adventurer, but like, who is he actually? Because he knows way too much, and he sort of doesn't explain himself, which I think is great because he's very mysterious right now. And so the monitor has been hiding here, and it seems like he's going to enter. Obviously, it ends the episode with the cliffhanger of him using like some sort of pickaxe some Minecraft stuff, breaking in and actually finding out where the monitor is hiding out and I'm guessing it's Pariah because he's going to be sort of linked with the monitor. The monitor is definitely going to find out that in fact, you know, he's broken in so he knows way too much and we're not sure his true mission but talking about him teleporting, I really think he's Pariah. Like, I can't get that out of my head. So let me know in the comments down below what are your theories? Do you sincerely think that he's Pariah? I think he is Pariah. Or the monitor's going to turn him into Pariah because he knows way too much about him and he will be the one to send out the warning messages like in the comics. And so let's go on to talk about something else. Let's talk about Ramsey. So a lot of Ramsey stuff happens in this episode. There's a big revelation we'll get to in a second. 
But for the most part of the first part of the episode, Ramsey's sort of stumbling around, he's extremely mad, sort of talking to himself with some flashbacks. Wasn't a big fan of the flashbacks, but it was such a small portion of the episode that I think I can sort of forgive them. And basically for most of the episode, he can't fully work out the cure, and he gets a big revelation after Barry gives him a cure that doesn't actually work. He realizes he has to kill people, he has to get that fear inside people's blood and he has to feed off of them to survive and to cure himself. So then we get the hospital scene, the hospital scene was very very good in my opinion. We got a massive reveal that you know he is the villain and now Barry and everyone they know that he is in fact a bad guy, he's not a good guy and I liked how they didn't sort of play on with that you know for you know, the next few episodes, I like how they revealed it right now, because Ramsey's going to be gone by the time of crisis, so I think it's great that they are sort of speeding that up, and so the Flash and Killer Frost fight zombies. This is the big part of the episode that I think was really great, sort of mm, Dawn of the Dead, sort of Shaun of the Dead sort of stuff, I thought it was great. Obviously it was a Halloween episode, so it was kind of fitting. And yeah, so Ramsey is revealed, and you know, that's where it's going to go on from now. Everyone's looking for him, all the police departments. Let's move on to talk about Cisco once more. So he actually steals that device, that cure that they actually looked for. They thought it was gone already, but actually, Cisco stole it. He's trying to save Barry's life instead of Ramsey because Ramsey's just a stranger to him. And so, Barry and Cisco, they had a scene together, and man, Grant and Carlos killed it really got me, it was really real, really very emotional, and that goes the same with the ending scene towards the end of the episode with Joe, because he breaks down, like, he breaks the fuck down, and it's really, really touching, especially Jesse's acting, man, he freaking kills it in the scene, same with Carlos and Grant, so basically Barry was trying to prepare Cisco in this episode to become the new team leader, to take over when the Flash dies, but Cisco can't get over that, and, you know, all the other team members and Joe, you know, they can't get over the fact that Barry's not going to be there, but especially Cisco and Joe. And so he's in this episode, he's trying to get him to, you know, be the team leader, but also to make him get over the fact that Barry's not going to be around. But Barry is convinced this is the only way. And obviously, I think they're going to find some sort of way as we head towards crisis to stop that. They're going to try and change the future, different stuff like that, because they are all committed. They are all affected by potentially Barry dying in crisis. They want to all stop that. So that's going to be a thing that's going to be massive going forward as we head towards crisis, which is not very far away. We're on episode four right now. I believe crisis is going to be episode eight, potentially could be episode nine but I'm fairly sure it's episode 8, and so it's not that far away, we should be expecting some trailers, some photos, and maybe a poster to come out in the next few weeks, we really don't have very long, and I like how heavy Crisis is in the Flash and Arrow right now, I think Supergirl could benefit with some more Crisis stuff right now, and I just quickly wanted to go over that prior scene, the potential of him coming, so in the comics prior, is essentially a messenger who is cursed, but he's more to do with the anti-monitor than the monitor, to tell everyone of this upcoming crisis, and he is burdened to do that. So I think with him snooping around and obviously finding out where the monitor has been hiding out, I find it kind of strange that the monitor has been hiding out on Earth, or maybe it's some sort of portal behind that wall. He is the one that is in fact potentially going to be cursed, and he's gonna have to tell everyone in the multiverse, you know, a crisis is coming. Unless they twist it from the comics, and he's not a messenger, but he's like an actual hero. Maybe he has a different role in the TV show crossover. I'm not sure. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. I'll have my Flash trailer breakdown out later tonight for episode 5, so look out for that. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.